We are here at the Three Mile Lake Trailhead, also known as Takanich Dunes Trail. This is what the trailhead looks like. There's plenty of parking. There's the Tahakanich, uh campground. Wow, I can't think. Campground over there, which is awesome. And a very nice, clean pit toilet here, which was great. Okay, we are off. Okay, so we got to our little intersection here. We're going to go to Three Mile Lake. And it's a big loop. And then we're going to loop around and come back this way. So let's go. It's really pretty. Very uh, Hobbit Trail-esque. Yeah, if you haven't been on the Hobbit Trail, I suggest you go. It's very much like this, where you're hiking in the bushes. <laughs> it's like a tunnel. It's really cool, very mossy. Very pretty. And all of a sudden, there's a sand dune. <laughs> this is so weird. It's a big dune, and there's like trees in the sand. How weird, right? Yeah, it's a little it's odd. Really weird. And then it goes back to woods. <laughs> okay. It's just this big sand dune here. Huh. Yeah, now it's woods again. Okay, we came across this little bench, and there's a little viewpoint to the ocean. So nice. Beautiful. And we've seen about ten of these little salamander newt things on the trail. I will show you next time we see one. Aha! Here, speaking of one, there's one right here. I keep seeing these guys. This is number 11. Crazy! I've never seen so many on the trail. They're so cute. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> They're so slow and awkward. Okay. We're starting to loop around. The bottom section of the loop and then we're going to get closer to the ocean here in a little bit. It's so pretty we can hear all the birds singing. Oh my god a baby one! Uh, oh my god look how little one that is. Look how little he is compared to my finger. Oh that's the smallest one we've seen. So tiny. Oh, look, he's trying to hide. Oh. oh, he's so little. Where's my mom? Oh, there's another one. 18. 18. He's going fast. It's legit. There's Never a slug. Eat. He's already hiding from us. Mm -hmm. He's like, I can feel you coming. He has a weird spine. But yeah, slugs are pretty common. In Oregon. Hmm. You can eat slugs, Especially these like big ones. I think so. If you happen to be starving to that. The ones that look like bananas, yeah. like the yellow and brown ones, yeah. apparently those Poisonous? you can't eat. No. They make your tongue <laughs> fuzzy because they have some sort of toxin. Oh. Yeah, so birds and stuff don't eat them. Yeah, that's funny how they know. Yeah. 
Oh, this is just so pretty. <laughs> this bridge over this swamp. This is kind of interesting. We've seen 34 newts. Look at this. This is kind of cool. This must be part of the lake. That's neat. It's kind of swampy here, but over there it's pretty. We're looking forward to uh, seeing what the lake looks like. Oh, that's gorgeous. Side. So we just came upon this total landscape change. Hummingbird. Oh yeah, so that is what I heard earlier. Yeah. With hummingbirds and all sorts Hi. of cool deserty trees. And then there's the ocean. <laughs> Saying hi to us. Hi! Don't attack me. Yes, please. <laughs> they have sharp beaks. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. How neat is this, right? Okay, we are right here at this junction. Uh, half a mile to the beach. Or continue on. So that's what this sign says here. Beach. Half a mile down there, that trail. And then we are going to continue. This, that's where we just came from, over here. So we've gone... Does, is that right? We've gone three and a quarter miles? That well, doesn't seem like it. I'll have to check my GPS, but we're going to go this way. Oh, wait, no, that's the beach. Ha, huh, we were about oh, to go... Oh, my God. We were about to go the wrong... Wait, but that doesn't make sense on the map. Yeah, why would that go? Where does that go? I'll have to look at my GPS, but that doesn't make sense on the map. Yeah, anyway, so we'll uh, look at the GPS and figure it out. But anyway, it's pretty. <laughs> okay, we figured it out. That is the way to the lake. It's just a little bit down. We're going to go check out the lake, but that's not actually the trail. The trail does continue on there. Um, uh, yeah, like a quarter of a mile before the beach, and then you turn right and continue on along over there. So, if you are here, you will go to the arrow that says beach, and then there'll be another sign where you turn. But we're going to go check out the lake. Three Mile Lake. So here's the lake. It's like literally, that's the sign over there. We're literally a couple hundred feet from the lake. How pretty is this? You got a lake and an ocean. Right I there. know. It's what? so lake, ocean, lake, ocean. How crazy. Yeah, so here you can go down. It's really steep. We're going to check out this little lookout point. This lake is beautiful. It would be awesome to take a canoe. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's like steep into the lake. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, it goes right down there into it. Oh, wow. Wow, but this is just so epic. Yeah, it is. Wow. I really want to take my shoes off. This is beautiful. Okay, we are at we are at the bowl junction here, so it's 0.25 to the beach oh, through so some trees, and then we are a mile this way. Um, just to let you know, from March 15th to what does it say? September 15th. This area is closed for. Uh, due to the snowy plover nesting area. I think that's some sort of bird. Obviously. Obviously nesting area. So it's a bird and they nest here. So this area gets shut down starting March 15th. So you can come to this point, you can go to the beach, but you'd have to go back the way we came. 
through the woods so you can't do the loop but yeah this is really really pretty and we're gonna walk on the sand <music> So, it's just dunes for as far as the eyes can see. Dunes for days. Pretty much. It says it's a mile, but it feels like five. Just to let you know, because you're going up and down, up and down these dunes. So I can see two posts as of right now, and then hopefully past that second post, hopefully we'll uh, be done with this sand because it's really hard to walk on as you can see here it's quite deep and it's just uh, yeah it's quite difficult it makes it feel much longer than a mile because you're walking really slow and then you go up the hill okay we're finally at the intersection here there's a trail that goes here trail that goes here that goes to the campground and completes the loop or then you can do a little out and back which is what we're gonna do here in a little bit we're, we're gonna have lunch at the beach half a mile here Tabitha just discovered some really gnarliness anthill on steroids huge I mean I don't know if you can even like I, yeah I don't even know Ew. If that there yeah. we go uh, but they're all the fire ants. They have red Maybe heads. Maybe I stepped on. Oh, that's gnarly. Okay, guys, we are eating here. We were gonna walk to the beach, but we noticed that there isn't really a beach. I don't know if you can hear me. It's kind of loud. <laughs> but let me show you. So I was walking along the trail and we noticed that there is like a lot of water and the water connects to the ocean. So unless we go all the way over there and over, we're not getting to any beach. So that is definitely more than half a mile and more than we are wanting to do since we still have like half of our hike left. So we decided to eat here. Trail is right over there. And we're just watching the tide roll in here with all this driftwood. It's kind of cool. And we're gonna eat our lunch. Okay, so we are going to, this is our little turn off. That goes back, that completes the loop, goes back to our car. So we'll be coming back this way and going out there. And we're gonna do the little out and back two miles each way, Tackenich Creek Trail. So, uh, we might not do the whole two miles. There's a little cutoff that we can do if because that adds another four miles to our hike. And I think we've gone about four. That would make sense. So, and then a mile to the car. So that would be like a nine mile hike, which is doable. So, yeah, we're going to check this out. Looks like less sand, which is nice. So we came to an impasse in the trail. Uh, don't know if you can tell how big this is, but there's a stream over here, trickling, mind you, very small, and for some reason it creates this humongous, what, 15 foot puddle? Yeah, I mean, that's at least ankle or so. There's 15 feet going across here, it's at least a foot deep, and then it, this is probably, eight feet wide. yeah, seven or eight feet wide. Now, and it continues, like the water continues into the bushes, so it's not just like it's done right there. There's water all up in there. Water all up in there. And it's really brushy, so it's not like we can just trample through this. As you can see, there's vines and shit, and, um, yeah, so, and then the trail, you can see, is on the other side, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so we went, I would say, a quarter of a mile from that sign that I showed you and came to this. So I guess we are turning around and heading back to Zakar. 
but this can be discovered later because there's no nesting birds here so this can be looked at at any time this hike so it's not like we lost out on anything because we can come check it out later anyway that's it <laughs>